This video is not meant to give you any advice on what medication you should or shouldn't take. Before taking or stopping any medication, always consult a physician you trust. So I have been seeing a lot of ads about Adderall or Adderall adjacent supplements and it has really piqued my curiosity as to what is this new phenomenon that I'm seeing. I'm feeling like there's a lot of people who are taking Adderall. Um, and, uh, but it was the video by Nicole Foster from For Harriet, I'm going to link it below, that really had me thinking. Uh, she actually made two videos. She talked about making the decision to finally go on Adderall um, because of her ADHD. And uh, when she made that first video, I didn't really relate to any of the things that she was talking about. But when she did the follow-up about being on the medication for a few months and the effect it had had in her life, that's when I really, that's when my curiosity was really piqued and I started asking myself, should I take Adderall? Is that something that could improve my life, my productivity, my connection with people? I was really, really, really intrigued. Now, I have never been diagnosed with any of the conditions that is indicated for taking Adderall. However, when I saw Kimberly's last video, when she was describing some of the things that have improved in her life that she was struggling with before, a lot of it resonated with me. So one of the things that she mentioned that I identified with that made me consider this? Well, for one, I struggle with starting tasks. It's kind of difficult for me to muster the courage. Yeah, it, it takes courage in my mind to start a task, even if it's a daily task, something for my work, something for my job. It's just really hard to kind of give myself that that beginning, that start. Um, I've talked about my perfectionism and how I struggle with it, that I feel that I can't even take the first step doing something if I don't have the assurance that I am going to do a perfect job, that I'm going to begin, continue, and finish the job to perfection. It's really hard for me to even get into starting a process of starting something, starting a task. Um, I struggle with, with the feeling of, I'm afraid of failing at it. And it doesn't matter what it is. It could be a big thing, like a major project for my job, or just starting the, the task of organizing some of the recyclables that I have accumulated at home that I need to put in the recyclables bin. It's, it's really difficult. I do manage to do these things, but I literally have to give myself a pep talk to start on a project, to, to just sit down here every week to put out a video for YouTube, I literally have to give myself a pep talk and tell myself, it's going to be okay, it's going to be okay. Just, just do it, please. Another thing that I struggle with, and this is a big one, and when Kimberly mentioned it, I, I really had to stop and pay attention. For whatever reason, I have a really hard time connecting with people. Now I have friends, I have my family, you know, I'm not the type that's going to disappear from their lives forever. No, but connecting with people, staying in touch, picking up the phone, calling, you know, keeping touch with people, something that comes easily for most people. It is extremely difficult for me. I, I was once talking to someone and I, I describe it as you know, for you, picking up the phone to call somebody, check on them, see how they're doing, it just seems like the most easy task. For me, it's almost like, okay, now I'm gonna climb Mount Everest. <laughs> I need to get ready mentally to, to do this thing. It is that difficult. I don't know what it is, but it has always been the case with me. Um, and when I heard uh, Kimberly talking about how taking the medication really allowed her to you know pick up the phone schedule things with friends and family and having weekly or maybe monthly meetings with people she loves i thought oh my goodness 
there's a pill for that. <laughs> so I, I, it is really difficult and it has affected some of my relationships. I mean, there's some people who pulled away from me and I don't blame them because I just don't check in. I don't keep up. And just, just, you know, reaching out to just my family members it's really hard and these are people that i love that i enjoy their company but somehow it's really hard for me you know what it is i almost feel like i'm bothering them and my my frontal cortex my my, my thinking brain knows of course you're not bothering them of course they love you and they want to hear from you but somewhere in, in, my, in my primitive uh, reptilian brain, I'm thinking, nah, if I pick up the phone and I call them, I'm going to disrupt their day. I'm going to annoy them. They're going to just be you know, nice to me out of courtesy, but they don't really wanna talk to me. That's what I tell myself. And um, I was thinking if there's something that I can take that can get rid of these thoughts, I would love that. <laughs> And I've always had this issue and after losing my sister, I feel like it got really worse. There was a part of me that kind of fell into more of a shell. I kind of went into self-preservation mode of not wanting to get too close to people. I, I, I don't know. I don't know what this is. And since part of my job is you know i have to make phone calls i have to reach out to people and set up things with people i this really affects me and i end up leaving those tasks to the last minute when it's go time when it is it is time it is the deadline and i have to do it that's when i finally pick up the phone and i do that so as you can see something like this can affect my job, my personal life. And I feel kind of desperate at this point, like I have to do something about it. So with all these things in mind, I was thinking, should I really get on Adderall? Would this help me? Would this improve my quality of life? Would it definitely, looks like it would improve my productivity, which could affect my income, which could affect, you know, living this full life that I've been talking about that I want to live. Would this really help me? If it can, I think it's worth it. Don't you think? Now, the thing that is keeping me away from even trying Adderall, well, the number one thing is I don't have health insurance that would cover that because I haven't been diagnosed with a condition that would require taking it. So most likely, insurance just wouldn't be able to cover it and i don't know how much it would cost out of pocket that's number one but the really the main reason why i i, I shy away from the idea of taking it is that i've always been afraid of creating a dependence on any substance any substance you name it i don't even take coffee in the mornings i don't drink coffee i don't drink any caffeinated beverages or at least i try to avoid them um, because I, I don't want to have to depend on caffeine to be able to start my day. I love the fact that however hours I get of sleep at night, when I wake up in the mornings after about five minutes, I'm up, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to take on the day. If I depended on caffeine, I wouldn't be able to get my day started until I get my cup of coffee, and I just don't want to depend on it. I don't, I don't drink alcohol. I don't take medications for anything. I just, that's just my, I don't ever want to have to need something because in the case, if the, if the zombie apocalypse comes upon us and there's no access to caffeine and there's no access to painkillers and there's no access to anything that's gonna calm me down when I'm stressed, what, what am I gonna do? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be very vulnerable. And so that's my way of thinking why I have avoided any kind of medication my entire life. I've also heard a lot of um, people talk about the Adderall crash, that you get all of this um, productivity and, and concentration and all these benefits from Adderall, but as soon as your dosage wears off, you go into this crash where you are even more immobile and, and, and 
incapable of doing anything than you were before you started it. That's what I've heard. Um, you know, and then that can lead some people to taking even more of it and creating that dreaded dependence. And so because of these reasons, right now, and you know, probably forever, I don't think taking Adderall is for me. It's not something that I am inclined to do at this time. So what to do? Um, I have been really thinking about, I, I don't wanna stay the person that I am. I don't wanna continue suffering with this crippling anxiety every time I have to do something, every time I have to reach out to people. I, I don't wanna live like this. So um, one of the things that have really helped me is something that I have always called the just get up and do it. And it is something that I do, especially in the mornings. When I wake up in the mornings and I'm feeling kind of tired, like I want to stay in bed, I'll stay in for maybe five minutes and then I just tell myself, okay, just get up and do it. And without even thinking, just giving that command to my body, I'll just swing my leg off the side of the bed and I'll just get up, I'll turn on my side lamp and I start my day without thinking. That is something that I can implement, not just waiting at the last minute to do what I have to do. And in order to implement that get up and do it, I have to start scheduling my life. When I schedule my life, it makes such a huge improvement on my productivity because I don't know if you can tell by just looking at me, but I, I was always that, you know, that nerdy girl that in class, I wanted to have the right answer. I always wanted to do the, the thing that the teacher wanted me to do. I was the teacher's pet. I've always had this thing of pleasing my, my teacher and the people who depend on me doing something, doing my tasks. And once, you are an adult and you don't have your parents telling you what to do, you don't have teachers telling you what to do, and you're like me, you kind of fall into this thing of, well, if it's only me who needs it done, maybe it doesn't have to get done. And uh, for me, personally, when I schedule things, when I write them down and I put stickers and, you know, this is urgent, this is important, it's almost like I have another taskmaster, I have another teacher telling me, you have to do this. And that puts in my mind this idea that it's really not up to me. The schedule, the schedule told me to do it. I have to do it. And so um, when I schedule my life and I say, at this time, I have to do this, I am more likely to do it. So that's one of the things that I'm going to start doing now. I'm back on scheduling. Uh, at the beginning of the year when I was doing the 12 week fitness program that I purchased online to do, um, I was, I was, I was on time. I was doing what I had to do. It was excruciatingly hard because when I was doing that program, I was getting up at 5.30 in the morning, no matter what time I went to sleep at night. I would get up at 5.30 in the morning. I would do it. Why? Because the schedule told me I have to do it. I have to complete this task. I have to complete this program. And if I don't do it, I am failing the schedule. And so um, that is a little trick that I have decided that I'm going to be implementing so that I don't have to rely on medication to do it. Another thing that I have to do more of that has worked in the past is to remind myself it's not so bad. I put in my mind this idea that accomplishing these tasks are going to be so difficult, so painful that I avoid starting them. But I have to remind myself that when I am doing it, it's not that hard. When I pick up the phone and I hear my, my friend or my relative on the other end so genuinely happy to hear my voice, I remind, it's like, you know, this really wasn't this horrible thing that I was dreading. I have to keep reminding myself of this. Right now, I'm sitting down, I am doing this video. It feels very comfortable. I'm, I'm talking to you guys. This is not really that hard. But five minutes before, as I was getting ready to sit down and I was setting up everything, I was like, oh, this is so hard. But now that I'm doing it, this is not hard. <laughs> this is really easy. Talking to you guys is really easy. Getting up in the morning, there, there are mornings when I just want to stay in bed. 
I just want to stay in bed and sleep and relax and and I don't want to get up because it feels so good in my comfortable bed. But I tell myself, you know what feels even better than this? When you're done working out and you're walking out of the gym, you're walking through the parking lot towards your car. That feeling is amazing. There is such a feeling of accomplishment. Like, I did it. I actually did it. I came here, I worked out, I gave it my all, and now I am finished and I am a better person for having done that. I am stronger, my muscles are stronger, I am more flexible, my mind is more alert, my heart, my lungs, my arteries, they're all better because of what I just accomplished in there, and now it's done. And I can relax for the rest of the day because I accomplished this difficult thing, and it's gonna be so great. Tonight I'm gonna sleep so good knowing that I worked out another day. So when I remind myself of that as I am getting ready, as I am feeling the anxiety and the pressure, it helps because I know it's going to be okay. When it's done, when it's finished, I am going to feel even better than I felt before I did it. I'm going to feel even better than I do right now that I'm all cozy under my blanket in bed. It's going to be great. So don't be afraid to do it. Just get up and do it. So that is my video for today. Are you on Adderall? Have you noticed any of the benefits um, that have been mentioned? Have you suffered the Adderall crash? Is this something that you're considering getting on? Again, I am not a doctor. I am not giving you any kind of medical advice. Please consult with a physician that you trust, a physician that you know has your best interest at heart, and you know, see what they have to say about you getting on something if it would be fruitful. Like I said, uh, for now, I am just going to be using my little methods that I just mentioned, and hopefully that will help with my productivity, and hopefully that will be enough and I will keep you posted as to what I am doing. Um, if you like this video, please give a like. If this is some of the stuff you wanna see me talk about, please subscribe to my channel. I talk about Invisalign, I talk about health. I take you along with me, the different things that I do, and I hope you stick around and see what else we got going on. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.